Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Snarf and Wife. I am Snarf and this is Wife. And together we want to bring you content revolving around tech and gaming. Let's not waste your time and let's just jump right into it. This is the iClever BK05 folding Bluetooth keyboard. I picked mine up from Amazon for less than $50 and I think it's a great deal. It's compatible with Android, iOS, and Windows devices. You can connect through Bluetooth or use a wired connection using the micro USB port in the back here. Now that can function as either a charging port or a connection port. It also features RGB backlighting, which I personally do not use at all because it significantly drops your battery life. With the RGB lights on, it only lasts about five hours and with it off, it lasts up to 300 hours. Now let's talk about the build and design for a little bit. It's actually kind of size similarly. <laughs> Now size wise, this is very similar to a laptop keyboard. So if you're going from a laptop and you're using this on your desktop or on your iPad, you're going to have no issues jumping back and forth. Now this keyboard is actually designed with aluminum housing. It's actually quite nice. It feels good. It feels sturdy. The only little thing I have to say is that the hinges that actually open up the keyboard, this is actually plastic. Now, I don't know if that's gonna be a big deal uh, down the road. So far, no problem. Another little issue I had is these little rubber feet here that are used to close and protect the keyboard while you're opening and closing the device. One of them actually fell off on me during the first week of use. So far, not a big deal, but just keep that in mind. And the buttons actually feel pretty good to me. You know, it's better than one of those silicone rolling keyboards or those laser keyboards that you want to take with you. Those are actually not, in my opinion, very good options. If you actually head over to Amazon and search folding keyboard, you're going to see a big list of options. There's some with a trackpad, some have different colors, different sizes, different materials. Uh, the reason why I chose this keyboard here is because the hinge design doesn't cut right down the middle here. If you check out some of the other keyboards, they have a split right down the space bar here and I didn't like that. So let me go ahead and show you how most of the functions work. Now to cycle through the brightness levels of the RGB lighting, you're going to hold function and click the alt key here. and so there's gonna be three different settings that's off, low brightness, and high brightness. To be honest with you, I don't see that big of a difference between all the different brightnesses. Like I said before, I usually just go ahead and turn off the RGB altogether. Now, if you hold function, alt, and hit the up or down key, it's gonna cycle through the three different colors, green, blue, and red. You can connect to the iOS device, Android, and Windows. You can connect up to three different Bluetooth devices and cycle through those, and then if you need to connect their USB to a computer, you can go ahead and click function R and that's gonna go ahead and allow you to connect through that micro USB cable that I was talking about earlier. Let me go ahead and show you how to connect to a Bluetooth device. I'm gonna go ahead and use the iPad here. We're gonna jump in the settings. Go to the Bluetooth settings here. We're gonna make sure it's on. Once that's on, you can go ahead and click the function key and click C for pairing. Now, you can see that the iClever keyboard had popped up. We're gonna go ahead and select that. And just like that, we are connected and we can go ahead and start typing. Uh, another cool feature I wanna show you is you can actually connect a mouse to the iPad. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and start the pairing process. Now I can see the mouse. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. I'm gonna click pair. Now my mouse is actually connected, but as you can see, nothing happens. We're gonna to need to go ahead and change the settings. We're gonna go into accessibility, go to touch, turn on assistive touch. And now what you can see is there's a cursor right down the middle and you can see that I can move the mouse around. So now you can use the mouse and the keyboard together and go ahead and type any notes that you want. We're gonna go ahead and create a new one here. So let me show you how I use the keyboard. Believe it or not, most of my work I do is gonna be on the laptop. So after I'm done doing a lot of my work, I like to just put my laptop down, slide it back, take off this keyboard, and it automatically connects to my computer through Bluetooth. Now what's great about that is once I'm done with the desktop, I can just pull the keyboard up, place it here, get my laptop out, and go right back to work. So the question is, would I recommend this keyboard for everyone? The answer is 
No. It's not going to be good for people with maybe big hands, people that need a numpad, or if you're an accountant and you're typing a lot of numbers, then you're not going to want this keyboard. I think it's going to be perfect for someone that wants a compact keyboard, one they can just throw in their backpack with their iPad or Android tablet, do some light typing, some note taking, someone like a student or someone that travels a lot, or maybe someone that's like me and that has small hands. You are fake news. And what about gaming on this keyboard? I think it's gonna be fine if you're used to a laptop keyboard. I can go ahead and show you a live demo if you want. Buddy, you're such a show off, dude. Thank you guys for watching this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not gonna be like other YouTubers and ask you guys to hit that subscribe button, like button, whatever they all say. I have too much honor and dignity to ask you guys to hit that subscribe button and that like button right there, you know? And I totally forgot, if you guys wanna pick up this keyboard, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link in the description below. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day. Have a fantastic week. I'll see you guys later. Bye.